Back to the D4 rating climb, it's part two. Let me just remind you of the format. I am playing against Twitch subs. Twitch, say hi. And today we are going to be only playing against people who are rated at least 1,000 and below 1,200. I'm going to be playing D4 in every game. Uh, sometimes I'll play the Queen's Gambit, sometimes I'll play the London. Most of the time I will play these two and sometimes I'll mix it up with other stuff, some Gambits. Um, that's it. Yeah, let's get started. Wormsbane. All you gotta do is be in live chess. The time format is... Oh, it's actually... Wait a second. No, let me abort this. The time format is 3 minutes and 5 second bonus. It's not 5 minutes and 3 second bonus. 3 minutes and 5 second bonus. There we go. D4. Let me just fix all the other commands. Please B6. Now, normally, I would say take the center. Uh, but for this game, I'm gonna go for a Catalan setup. Or, okay, he's... He's doing my thing against me. I'm very scared. So I'm gonna go for this. This is the uh, Catalan setup when you castle. Play c4 and knight c3. It's not technically called a Catalan, but for the purposes of the climb, we will refer to it as a Catalan. Okay, that's interesting. So he, he's blocking in his pawns, the first thing that I notice. All right, c5. There is, a, there is an idea here when your bishops are on opposite sides like this. This is a pretty advanced idea. Uh, he didn't take. <laughs> Had he taken... I would have played knight h4. It's an idea from the Queen's Indian. And he can't take again because of the pin. And I'm also threatening knight f5. He didn't take though. Now, if I do this, I open up this. But then he takes with this pawn and he defends. So I'm just going to play knight c3 and chill. Now, the thing about the Catalan is that you have very high difficulty predicting what your opponent is going to play. And... As such, it makes it a little bit harder for you to just map out a middle game plan. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's exactly what I just said that I was going to do. Play the Verisov? Okay, I'll play the Verisov. So you see the point. The pin. And now I have this idea. I'm going to take back and I'm going to take a big center. So like I said, it's, it's difficult uh, to get a very clear attack. It's just not so simple what you're doing. Also, I'm eating breakfast, so... Sorry. That's a good move. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I just realized that that's a mistake. Because if I take... 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 I actually thought it was a good move. That was not me being sarcastic. It was just a blunder. His coordination here is messed up, because his bishop just has no protector. So, he blunders the bishop. It looked like a good move. Unfortunately, it was not. He might be playing this because he has the e6-b6 openings course. But the thing about the e6, b6 opening scores is that I always recommend f5. I always recommend that you play the pawn to f5 and then the knight to f6. Because that way you really clamp down on this. Okay, he plays here. There's a couple of ways to win a winning position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play b3, line up this guy this way, and I'm going for this. I mean, we could play this into an endgame, but I'm, I'm going for the kill. Here's my plan. Here, here, take... Checkmate. That's my plan. Let's see if it works. <clears throat> that kind of stops it. Right, let's go here. Also, yeah, you guys are missing out, man. YouTubers... We're listening to Fall Out Boy right now, so... Probably the best punk rock band, as far as I'm concerned. Punk pop, I should say. Punk rock was more, you know, sex pistols and... So it's like more... 
Oh, he stopped my plan. So mean. Even for the cost of a rook. <laughs> emo? Okay, emo. Hey, don't call them garbage. Hey, I said be nice. You get a 10 minute timeout. Kcha! Can't talk for 10 minutes. Guys, I said be nice. We should spread more positivity. I am, I, I am sarcastic, but I am being completely serious on this subject. They all be nice to you, you be nice to them. Also, you... So many people watch on Twitch and on YouTube, so you're just being mean to yourself. Stop being mean to yourself. Okay, well, I have a new plan. 97 and win his rook. Let's take. I am protected. That's an interesting question. So we, we, we like to talk a little bit about sports sometimes while we do these climbs. Uh, do I think that this NBA championship is tainted? I don't think so. Will it be tainted? I think so. Yes. Yes, I think so. Definitely, it will be tainted. I think everyone's going to have a problem no matter what happens. Now I am getting it more into an endgame. We are trying to trade the rooks here. But, um, yeah, I mean, people are, people are definitely going to argue that it's, uh, you know, whatever. It's not, you know, it's not, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying people are going to argue about it. That's all. Okay, well, we are waiting for Worm's Bane. Uh, I'm going to give you guys... Uh, let's... Uh, uh, I can also play Bishop takes F6, actually. Check and take the Bishop. Play a3. The knight is under attack. Check. Nate Coolidge. Thanks, Christoph. Jen Daddy. Appreciate all the subs. Uh, okay, I don't know. Rook b5. This is taking a long time. <laughs> Check. Take this other pawn. Clean up. This, this, this is part of the game that's clean up. Now, I will give you a little announcement about the next opponent. The next opponent is going to be surprisingly low rated for being in this rating bracket. But he was very nice, and he was trying to tell me that his rapid rating is a lot higher than his blitz. And so he gets an opportunity to play. So, that is why he's going to get a game. What is my username on Norwegian? I don't even know what that means. I... What? Okay, and we go for a Ladur. Oh, wait a second. I don't want to stalemate him. Ah, you see, if I pre-move this, it wouldn't have worked. So now we check him, and we made him. All right. That is the Catalan setup. Very solid. Remember this idea if the bishops are on opposite sides. Other than that, just one tactic it came down to. Take, take, here. So take, take, and take on d6. And that's it. Like I said, this next guy is going to be a little bit low rated. I believe his blitz is a lot lower than his rapid, but as long as he's in live chess, it's all good. Caps lock user, here we go. D4. This time I will definitely play a London unless he goes here. Ooh. Okay. Is he a, is he a, is he a, is he a, uh huh, okay. Is he gonna, oh, is he lion? Am I getting lioned? I shouldn't have even gone knight c3 because I don't know if he's gonna go king's indian. Okay, he goes lion. Uh, I'm not going to take and help him with development. I'm going to go back. 
If he takes me, he helps my development. He doesn't want to help my development. So now we put a second pawn in the center. Looks like he's going to go for a lion. Ah, this guy's a lion guy. Okay. All right. Well, let's castle queenside. Let's see what he's got against. But you know, the other thing about lion, uh, the, like the black lion players, is that um, they all get their setup and they constantly try to just implement the game plan against the same thing no matter what. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to just attack him in the center. Oh, that's already a mistake, I think. Yeah, like, immediately he just blunders. I mean, this is just wrong. I, I don't think you should be playing... You gotta chop in the center now that we're fully developed. And I have this whenever I want it. So can I play this now? Be DE5. DE5 hits the knight, and he can take, but he's just running into a pin, and that does not look good. Okay, knight B5. So now the queen has to go here. And... Also could have maybe played bishop to B5, by the way. I'm amazed there's no mate. I want, like, a Morphe mate. But he... Oh, okay, well, that's just a horsey. And, it, and, and don't take the queen, because the horsey can move out of the way. Let's just go here. This is, this is not good. It's not good. We got a horsey. We're up a horsey. So, if I take and then I go here, ah, okay, but this is not a bad move because he hits my queen and he's threatening this in the future. So, let me take and then I'll play knight c7. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna win a rook, but he's, he, he also has some stuff. He also has ideas. Oh, but actually, wait a second. No, he doesn't. Because if he puts his king here, I can take the rook, but I can also play a move which adds pressure here. But yes, I can take the rook, but he'll fork me. First of all, I can also play knight h3, which just prevents this entirely. And bishop g5 check is prevented with the knight on h3. But I have bishop to b5, which pins the bishop to the king. And if he plays fork, then I just go here. Or I can just take the bishop for free. So I can just take the bishop for free, and the rook is still hanging. We are now up two pieces. <clears throat> and yes, he can play this, but that would be losing his own rook. So the lion, my, my game plan against the land, okay, let's take. Now let's just prevent knight f2. We'll prevent knight f2 by playing the move knight h3. And now we are just up two pieces. Um, what I recommend, if you see somebody playing like this, this setup with the knight f6, knight, knight d7, this is the lion, and I just recommend going after it. I mean, long castle, f4. You know, I, I went for knight c3 because I thought he was going to try to go for king's indian. And we know that that's my recommendation. But he went lion, so just attack the lion, and you'd be good. But that's the thing. Like, you know, we, this guy's rated 800, right? And, like, when, before the game even began, I said lion players sometimes have this problem. Uh, where they try to... They try to kind of just spam their setup, and they don't... They don't really think too, too far ahead. <laughs> like they, just, they just do the plan. Checkmate in two. Where? How do I feel about the Giants and Jets right now? The NFL is not a real sport. That's how I feel about it. Listen, we got a lot of folks watching from Europe. We got a lot of folks watching from India on YouTube. They agree with me. The NFL is not a real sport. And, and f football, frankly, is, is just... Like, I, 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 knew, I knew people who played it in high school and ended up with life-changing brain damage. So that's all I'm saying about that. Okay, he attacks my horsey. If I move my horsey... Um, you know what? Let's just go here. Just take it. 
I, I will trade off your rook and I will win the bishop up endgame. That's, that's my game plan right now. Just take the rook. Take. And like this. And can I recommend a good opening besides the Vienna for white? Any opening? Like I don't. Well, I I don't understand. There's a lot of good openings. Uh, uh the Italian. Against d4? I mean, against d45? I don't... What's the question? Like, this entire climb? You guys like watching a rating climb going, Yeah, 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 I know! And also, I know about that other thing, but give me more. I don't know. At, at, at some point, they're all good. A lot of good openings. Rue Lopez. Scotch. Go here, please. See, all you gotta do is ask nicely. This mate. Okay. I also realized that these challenges that I was sending out were unrated, so I didn't even get rating for them. Anyway, Lion, London system. I recommend a quick F4 push, thrusting, and, uh, and just pushing, and, you know, there we go. And, uh, yeah, that, that did not go very well. Do not open the center when your king is stuck in the middle. It's just, it's gonna be a problem. Do I think black should accept the queen's gambit or deny it? They're both fine. But as a beginner, accepting the gambit is a little bit more dangerous. Because you cede control of the center. And when you cede control of the center, uh, position is a lot harder to play. Okay, next person in the queue is Stepan uh, Kunjevic. Shout out to Stepan. Let's go Stepan, here we go. D4, this one is rated though. My Russian man. Okay, um... I can play c4, but against bishop f4, uh, against knight f6, I like bishop f4. Let's see what he plays. King's Indian, which one is he going for? London versus knight f6. I also like Trumpowski. Okay, he plays standard, so I'm play e3. And I, I do this because I don't want him um, to, to hit my knight. Okay, he plays like this. Uh, there's a lot of normal stuff here. Now knight f3 is fine. But if he played bishop g4 there, I would have played the move pawn to f3. Your day was tough without me streaming yesterday. So c5, generally the rule of thumb is c3. But knight d2 is actually considered a little bit better. Do I know semi Reina? Do I know the... The world famous... Comedian turned global chess ambassador, particularly for India, collaborating with Magnus Carlsen, Anand, many celebrities. Do I know that semi Reina? I am asked at least once or twice every stream to collab with him. And I don't think folks realize the fact that it's not up to me or you. It's up to Samay. And I've never been invited to a stream. Samay has never invited me to collab. So you gotta tell Samay to get me on. That's what you gotta tell him. It's not up to me. That would be fun. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a very common London thing. Queen b6 can be met with the move queen to b3. And a lot of people will trade... And that helps you. That helps you open up your rook. So this queen be... Oh, pfft. wow. All right, well, I'll go back too then. <laughs> I don't... That's not the right... I'm just memeing. Uh, no? Okay. He got so scared. Knight d2 now. Castles? Castles, castles? How can you play me? Uh, you can get uh, Psych Tripper. Thank you for the, the sub. You've got to be a subscriber. So on these rating climbs, I try to give games to people who are subscribers, uh, people who support the channel. Let's play H3. I don't actually have any idea what that knight is doing there. And he might think that it's stupid to go back to where he was, so he'll go here, and then I will double his pawns. Or he'll just go back. He'll be like, all right, that didn't work. All right, that's the right thing to do. Now, 95. <clears throat> I could have castled long. But I'm, I'm showing you guys different things. I played a lot of Londons where I didn't castle. I played a lot of Londons where I, I where, you know, I castled queenside. Now I'm showing you even castling kingside is fine. Um, now, 
let's play this queen f3 idea. This is generally how you will attack people in the London. Once you have plopped the knight here, you will lock it in with a rook. You will transfer your queen over this way. So let's, let's just get all of our pieces involved. Show you the, the real power that the London holds. Guys, the Godman Tour is going to be taking a break uh, from streaming. Uh, sorry, not, um, not streaming, but from, uh, from YouTube. He is, uh, he's undergoing heart replacement, heart valve replacement surgery, an incredibly serious procedure. He's like an incredibly chill guy, and so you would never think that he's nervous or worried, but it's a, it's a very, very serious thing. Uh, he did post it on Twitter, um, and he did make a recent YouTube video. So those of you that are, you know, are ma mainly just watching on Twitch, uh, I probably will also watch his manga or read through his manga today. Let's play this rookie three idea. The point is that I want to transfer the rook over here. Soon we will have one, two, three, four, five pieces attacking the king. So, yeah. Is there a difference between the A rook and the F rook? No, but this A rook would have had no job and I got it a job. And not like, not like... Not like the Trump-Pence administration job report, where, you know, we lost millions of jobs, but we picked up some as the economy recovered. Like, real jobs. Not like, you know, the, the biggest job loss in the history of the United States. And, that, like, not that, but, you know, like, serious one. Anyway, anyway, don't get triggered. That was a little, little political humor here. Let's sacrifice the bishop. We're ready. Nobody get triggered. Take a deep breath. No trigger. Let's... Send our best wishes to a god mentor. We all wish him the best. And now let me give this guy a little check. He has a tough decision to make. Where to move his king. Clearly going to the corner and hiding in the corner is better. Because if you just run to the center, you're going to run into... Oh, no. He played the better move. I was hoping that he was stream sniping, but he was not. And now I will play either this or this to hit this pawn and this knight. But which one of them is better? It was 100% better to play toward this way because that was just checkmate in one move. Let's play queen f4, hit the knight, and hit the pawn. And now we see the point. King g7 is a bad move. All right? Let's go like this. Any Republicans in New York City? Not a single one. Actually, not a single person in all of New York City is a Republican. Not one. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Okay, Rook G3. Right? Queen G5 is no longer possible. And I think I have another idea to sacrifice and play Queen to H6. Somebody commented on one of the climb videos. I think it was part one of this video of this video series. And they were like, stop sacrificing pieces in every game. We don't learn anything. So I, I'm not going to sacrifice. He told me, I'm going to listen to him. I mean, he's not. Okay, but I also don't like that move. So I've changed my mind. I am going to sacrifice. Sorry. Sorry, guy. Because how can I not? I, I need to get rid of the defender of the F6 pawn. And I, for a moment, I'm down a full rook, but we're winning. It's mate. Mate and two. Puzzle rush. No. This might lead to mate. Maybe it doesn't. Give a check. Check. If here, queen g7, and if here, queen g6, or queen g7, if you like it, a little bit longer. But we want to finish as, pa as fast as possible, like an inconsiderate male in the sheets. Queen g6, and my opponent wrote, good game, Pogo. So, this attack worked because we had a lot of attacking pieces near the enemy king. Okay? We played a relatively normal opening. He didn't trade queens. And then we found a way to mobilize. This is how you should play the London. Like, if you're going to...
play the London, this is exactly how you should play it. Bring all your pieces to the attack, actually put pressure on the opponent. This is exactly how you should do it. Why, why queen g3, not queen g4? What is the difference, guys? That's, you're overanalyzing. It is the exact same outcome. There is literally zero difference between these moves. Not a single move difference. Not one. There is no difference. Zero. But Levy, why did you go... Like, for example, have I gone here? You would go... You would have written, why not queen g3? Now, why not queen g5? That hangs a queen. Don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. Now, who's next? Who's next? Jim Rico. Rito. Jim Rito. Here we go. All you guys got to do is be in live chess. Be in live chess. Everything's good. I'm already getting challenges. Another knight f6. Um, again, I want to play queen's gambit, but I'm only going to play c4 when they play d5. So I'm going to stick to London for now. Okay, e3. This guy, this last opponent played d5, so we're seeing how to... Aha, a lot of people ask me about this. So early c5, I'm going to recommend you guys go knight c3. Early c5, you can go c3, but last time... Okay, so it takes takes. Uh -huh. Okay, now we have this move. Well, a little action in here, maybe. We'll see what happens. Okay, he blocks. Fair. Let's go here. Okay, but the good thing, this is still good for us because his bishops are blocked. So even though we don't win any material, he's blocked in his bishops. And now we drop back. And you say, well, Levy, what about, why'd you waste time doing this? Well, he blocked in his pieces. Bishop to d3. And we're good. We're happy. And castles. Do we have a big advantage from the opening? No, not really. C5 is a good line. That's a good line. I mean, that's one of the, it's the, the best way that you can play against this system. Also, guys, we're going to get off Chess TV in nine minutes. If you're not yet following the channel, please do so. We're almost at 91,000. On YouTube, at the time of recording this, we're almost at 90. It's going to be a close race to 100,000. Maybe whichever platform wins, I'll give away like $5,000 worth of stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Whichever platform gets 100k first. And by the way, like 60% of the people that watch on YouTube aren't even subbed. The 60k watching, the 60% of people watching on YouTube that aren't even subbed, they could like flip a switch and you guys would just get blown out of the water. And that would be that. So. Queen b6. Oh my god! It was a fork! I completely didn't see that! Oh my- I can't believe it! I hung a pawn! Damn! Right, I gotta bounce back, gotta focus. Gotta focus. Just queen takes d4 here, I'll probably play bishop e3. Wow! Damn, e5. Okay, that's a... Uh... I guess I'll go here. Oh my god! How did I not see that? Unfortunately, there is a trap here. Damn, when he played e5, I actually thought he didn't fall for that. I actually thought that, like... He, he had tricked me, but it turns out that I, I did trick him after all, and I'm a little sad now. Okay. So the pawn on d4 is not hanging because you do have this bishop takes h7 trick, but he did this, and I was like, oh, he got me. Yeah, he actually, you know, but then I, then I gave him another opportunity to, to blunder into it. Okay, let's take the bishop with check, and then let's put the uh, queen here and try to pick up some pawns. Show you how to convert this in the fastest way possible. Just trade the rooks. Before sacking bishop or something, do you calculate up to good compensation? I guess that's a question about the last game. Mm, before you sack the bishop, you do, you basically, what you, here's, here, here is how any chess thought process works. You get an idea, right? 
The way, like, let's say your opponent can do like four things. You need to find what the, the fastest thing that refutes your idea. So, it, it, because in chess, you have to prove yourself wrong. Fast. If you're like, I have an idea. Oh, no, it's wrong. Bad. Because of this. Okay, cool. Because the thing about it, if you spend all your time thinking why it's good, but you, at the end, find why it's bad, and you're like, oh my god, I just spent all this time. You just spent way too much time thinking about something that you're not going to play. So, uh, that's the way you have to think about it. And when you visualize something and you don't see anything bad, that's when you play it. That's when you play it. So that last game when I sacrificed the piece for the attack, I didn't see anything that my opponent could do. It seemed that he was too futile, I had too many attacking pieces, and it seemed like it was just going to work, and it did. And we would say, well, whenever I do that, it, it doesn't quite work the same, I make mistakes. Yes, I mean, the reality of the situation is that it comes from experience. I mean, it comes from practice. We talking about practice? Not a game. Not a game, we talking about practice. Not a game. Not a game. We talking about practice? Samai is playing Judith Polgar with his friends today? Sir, you wrote that already. No disrespect intended, but why are you writing it again? I mean, I, I know. But when you tell other people about something that's going on in another channel, if anything, that, I'm just gonna... I, I, I might just lose viewers to that. Are you a paid advertiser? What's going on here? Oh, don't go here. His position was so good. His position was so good. But this move now weakens two things. Right? Like this. So now I can hit both of these. Right? Nobody got ignored. Lerol, thank you for the sub. For my report, thank you for the sub. I just, guys, I, I, I want to thank subs like once every seven, eight minutes. Not every time it comes in otherwise it's like all right and now in this position thank you for the sub by the way all right now in this position he's hitting my pawn on c2 and also the pawn on b5 i'm gonna play c4 takes takes by the way thank you for the sub appreciate it oh don't, don't give me a little time all right give me a little time oh can't push be careful oh man missed that deep bra appreciate the twitch prime sub thank you well the trick here is that i i, I have this this, we, we did some damage to this king. Go here. Time to push. Let's go. Time to push. Oh, one trick. Uh, if he check me, don't go here. That would have been a fork. Check. He has to block, and we take the horsey. Check. Now, the easiest thing to do here is to make sure the king... It's glued to the corner. Only has one move back and forth. You don't even have to push the pawn. But you can. And this is mate. And GG yo. Now. We didn't get a great position from the opening. But he did blunder. And that does help. Now. Personally against C5. I think the, th the simplest thing guys. Just go C3. And if they play Queen B6. As I showed you in game 2. Just go for this Queen B3 thing where it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but you have a small advantage because you have the open rook and you can do some tricky stuff here with the horsey to get into c7, like knight a3, knight b5, knight here. And everything's all right. All right. Leonard, Leonard, Gunawan, you are next. I'm waiting for d5. Now we're going to start playing some 1100s. Please play d5. A lot of people go knight f6 though. Not a lot of people are playing this anymore. Do I usually stream this early? I have been streaming at 9 in the morning for a very long time. Let's go C4 because I think he's going to go here. I mean, if he doesn't, then whoops. All right. Queen's Gambit. And personally, I like to go here to put some pressure on his center. But this just becomes... Now, we're in a Slav defense. Okay, so... Had to swallow there. Bishop at 5. The, th this is a mistake because of the move queen to b3. Oh no, he just missed queen takes b7. 
So a lot of people, they play this bishop f5 move, but that, okay, well, he should have just blundered the pawn. Why not take on d5 first? I don't want to help him open up the position. Oh no, I'm just going to win all his pawns. Okay, we're just up two pawns. That's not good. Let's get to 100 subs before noon. 19 subs in an hour? We got some big gangsters in the chat. I think it's doable. Thanks, Michael Allen. I appreciate you. He could have gone d6. Yep. Now, if he goes b6, he weakens this diagonal. So what I like to do there is I like to take and try to get this bishop to b5 or play bishop b4. Oh, no. This was, I mean, maybe you will beat 1140s this fast, but yeah, this is very surprising. Okay, let's take, I don't know. Get my bishop out. I'm not worried about this because it's just a trade. Very strange game. I guess he's just never seen this. I don't, I don't know. I guess he's just never seen this idea. That's crazy. The whole queen side got completely torn apart. All right, there should be two in castles. We're just up a rook. Wow. Madarkadonk Ma and Michael Allen Martin just gifted five subs. YouTubers! Get over here if you're not here yet. You get a free sub, maybe. Who knows? Wow, Shy Town. Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Ten sub gifts. Thank you so much. I could have also gone knight c6. Just to take the bishop, remove one more piece from him. I feel bad. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a misbehaving kid. You just take all his toys away. Knight c6. Okay, let's take this guy away. Did we cross 100 for the day? That fast? Oh, 97. Very close. Play b3 so I can get the bishop out this way. Sneaky move. He also just can't stop the move. Bishop a3. Yes, I was that kid. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I got in trouble once and uh, everything was removed from my room. I had a bed and a desk. It was like jail. Shouldn't have messed around. Glug, glug, glug. Subbing again. I was that kid, yeah. What did I do? I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably something. I mean, when I was a toddler, when I was like two, you know how like kids bite stuff when they're two? You know, they have like their teething, so, uh, or whatever that's called. When I was two, I bit a dog at the park. I wasn't even angry. I was just standing next to the dog, and I just like, went like this. That was what I did. I... That, that's, that, that's, that's one of the most legendary toddler stories. Not like hard. I didn't like, I didn't like rip its ear off. But like, I was playing with the dog and I just went. And the dog was like, bro, what are you doing? I was like two years old. That's, that's like, you know what I used to do? So I, I, I was, I was a kid. I wasn't destructive. I didn't destroy things when I was a baby. But, um, I was very stubborn was very, very stubborn. And uh, I used to put rocks in my mouth. And like, just my, I knew my parents didn't want me to put rocks in my mouth, so I would just put rocks in my mouth. Like, and this is checkmate. I just put rocks, like I'd be on the playground, I'd just get rocks, put, put rocks in my mouth. I was like two or three years old. Guys, guys, why do you think I became a chess player and I don't have a full-time job? I mean, I put rocks in my mouth as a kid. Like, no wonder I became a chess player. You know what I mean? Like... You know? That's how you get... Yeah, I mean, you can put rocks in your mouth. Now, those of you asking about b6. Yes, this is a move. But here, c takes d5 is very powerful. Let me explain why. 
Because if knight takes d5, you have e4. If he takes here, you take the bishop. And your position here is much, much better. You've got two bishops, active queen, bishop, castle, very quick development. But if they take with a pawn, this is open. And there's a move that here that's winning. e4. If pawn takes, knight to e5 threatens checkmate. If they go e6, remember I told you about this? So you just shred open the position. And here I think the cherry on the, on the, on the, on the Sunday, g4. This knight is guarding this. So if they play bishop takes, this knight is now what's called overloaded. And in this position, you can play the move bishop takes d7, knight d7, and knight g4. You just win a bishop and you're happy. Or you can play the even sexier move, knight takes e4. And he can't take you like this because bishop d7 and you destroy everything. And you're threatening knight f6 and bishop takes. So b6 is, 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 is a very natural looking move, but one move and the entire position crumbles for black. Just c takes d5, the entire position crumbles for black. Okay? He just missed it, and I mean, I, I, mean, I can't ask for much more. Just up a rook and two pawns from the opening. I mean, it's... <laughs> I, you know, like I said, I wish some of these games go a little bit longer, but I can't always control that. So I just, do, I, I just show you guys uh, some ideas, and hopefully it works. This one worked. Is it possible for a 500 rated player who's been playing for two days to get 99.7 accuracy in a 20 plus move game? Sure. Especially if the opponent blunders all their pieces, yes. D4. Let's see what Smurnster plays. I've been playing a lot of Londons today. I played one Catalan. Okay, let's play C4. So we're, going, we're not going for London this game. So it's a very similar setup as last time. Very similar defense, actually. Slav defense. Um, so we're playing this Queen's Gambit style with knight c3. Triple Axis, thank you for the sub. Attila Hunt, thank you for the sub. Casual Cookie, thank you for the sub. You guys will have an opportunity to play in the future. So this guy takes... I'm going to play e4. He might go here, and then we actually have a pretty interesting position. Uh, we have a high-level position, a position that's played at GM level all the time. Um, okay, he doesn't, so he just gives me this back. That would have been, you know, he hangs on to the pawn, but now I just have the center and the pawn back. So this is not what he wants. This is definitely not what he wants. And, uh, well, now I have the full center, and his bishop is a little bit passive. So we see how the queen's gambit can be powerful if they don't know what they're doing against it. Okay, a uh, little crash there almost. I'm going to castle. Now, what I should have done is I should have protected... First of all, I'm giving him an opportunity to see if he can do this. But there is a plan. There is a plan. Now, of course, the best move here is to play something like queen e2 or bishop g5 to pin the knight or queen d3. Pushing is okay, but then he just puts his knight in the center. So let's see if he does this. I'm offering him the pawn. I'm offering him the pawn because this, this is going to be the only active piece that he has. The only active piece. And now it's going to be very hard for him to castle. I am actually offering him a second pawn because I am preventing his king from castling. And let's see if he is able to deal with the fact that the king is going to be stuck in the center of the board. This guy's 933. Yes, I know this. It, no, no, it's, it's more like we start at 1,000 and we try to climb. But this guy's also higher in rapid, I think. Yeah, he's 1100 rapid. So that's a great move. He blocks my bishop. I'm going to put this guy over here and try to line up on this way. Knight to the center is going to be a move as well. Queen e2 and put the rooks to the middle of the board. Did I have to play like this? Absolutely not. In fact, I would recommend you just defend your pawn. But this is how I played it, so I have to live with the consequences. Knight to the center. What's up, Gallo? How are you? F4 is another idea to open up the rook. We have very active piece play. Bishop, knight, bishop, queen coming. That's the other idea of moving the knight to the center. It has nothing to do with the knight. I mean, unless he plays queen d7. Queen d7 is his only way to lose a queen right now. So I really hope he plays it. He did not play it. Can I sacrifice? Can I play here, 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 here? That works. That works. The knight stops protecting this, and we see immediately why this works. We have four attacking pieces, 
And he has no guards. He has no guards. Actually, I just realized something. I just realized something kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Let's see, hold on. So this, I think the way I played this is inaccurate. I should have played this first. I should have played this first. Because if he declines the capture, which is what he did, he played king f8. The other version of this, my bishop would have still been here. So if takes here, I could have played knight c4 and I still have a bishop pressuring the knight to the king. So giving it away was inaccurate. I should have played bishop h7 first. Because then if he had played into it, I would have played bishop takes d6 second, and everything probably works out. This is still good for me, but it could have been better. Play queen h5. Also, this is very interesting. Very interesting move. Um, if queen f3, there is this, I think. Here, 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 here. Doesn't look like there's a mate there. Can also play f4. At least I'm not down in peace. Let's see, queen h5. Queen h5 looks extremely natural. Because then f6 doesn't work, I have queen f7. So let's play queen h5 anyway. Threatening checkmate. Okay? We just have too many attacking pieces. I mean, we also have to remember that if I play f4 or even rook, 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 I have a new piece joining the attack. And I'm not letting him play something like knight d7. A move like knight d7 would help him immensely, getting, the, getting rid of this knight. My knight is the more, most powerful piece that I have. This bishop isn't great. It's going to be very useful, but it's not great right now. It's going to be useful in a move or two. Okay. So now we have a, a, something called a clearance sacrifice, which is the move bishop to g6. It's not really a sacrifice, but he can't take it. And the bishop actually does add an attack. Right? And queen to h8. Yo, yo. Lama, I'm going to send you a message. We're going to figure something out for this week. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going on Twitter. What we're doing. Lama, follow me back. So I can send you a DM on Twitter. We're doing this right now. Thank you for sub-gifting him. The Diablo God. It's the beauty of these climbs. We're doing this. Lama and I have been talking. Lama's like 1300. So if we do an on stream chess lesson, it's going to be beneficial to a lot of you. Okay? And I think you guys would enjoy it a lot. Bishop takes f7. And now we see the other threat. The threat was not just queen h8. It was to bust in here. And he just has no time. Now the rook is hit. Now the so now, this is the part of the attack that I call cashing out. The attack is successful. You don't need to deliver checkmate in an attack. Although that's also nice. Like, for example, here, we will probably end up delivering checkmate. Um... No, let's bring his king a little closer. So, uh... Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we don't have a force mate. But winning material is also a, at the end of a good attack. So if you can win a rook at the end of your attack, your attack was successful. What if he played rook e7 instead of queen e7? Here? It wouldn't have... What? Okay. This is like a runaway car on the highway. So look, we beat him because we never let three of his pieces get into the game. We played with basically every piece that we had. But we didn't let three of his pieces into the game, which is so important. Now, even if he plays knight d7, we're just hunting down the king. So, I think bishop b6 next. Queen f3 is mate. Queen f3 is mate. No, it's not. He takes my knight. Check. Check. I mean, 
Guys, I would love to end this game a little bit faster, but I'm not trying to stall. But uh, I do tell folks not to resign. And I also want to teach you guys how to win winning positions, so... Gift him a sub? He already is a sub. Check. Oh, no. All right, let's calculate the fastest checkmate. Ugh. Is this it? Yes, we hit 100 subs on the day. Thank you, guys. This is going to be check and mate. That was a tough game, and it shows you why it's difficult for folks to play positions where their king gets stuck in the center. It's because you immediately start putting pressure, and then right away, like two moves later, we already have tactics, right? We can take and take, and the position for black begins to fall apart because three pieces never get into the game. Now, a lot of beginners... Um, a lot of beginners... Never have a position where their knight is on d6, right? And so the tactics are a little bit different. And so one of those things is that the h7 pawn is not protected by anything. So that's what happened there. Uh, Ahmad Matar is saying, you playing next game, please. Sir, you cannot just sit in the chat Sun-dried hot dogs or moon-dried Of course, moon-dried. I mean, moon-dried sounds great. Now, Ahmad, you cannot sit in the chat and just tell me to play you. Again, the process to sign up if you're a sub is very simple. Very simple. We make the queue. You have to be in Discord. You sign up to play if you're 1,000 to 1,200, and you play. You should not just sit here and ask to play. It's a very simple process. It's not complicated. Super simple. You just gotta sign up when we're, when we're playing. That's it. Very, pretty easy process. But don't just go like, I'm challenging you, because I'm not taking challenges. I'm playing against people who have signed up. I know who they are. I know their accounts beforehand. And we play. And that's the beauty of it. Okay. Glug Glug, you're coming up. D4. Aha, okay, another Queen's Gambit. So Queen's Gambit in London. That's what we're doing. So far, everybody's play. Oh, that's already a mistake. You're actually supposed to take this. Because the whole point is that now the, the opponent has to put a piece in the center. So they want to put a pawn like this. And because now I just get the center. So this is another way to get the center. To beginners, in the last game, it looks like I was throwing my bishops away. In the last game? Which game? This game? It looks like I was giving away my bishops. But I was showing you why it was important, because I was removing the defender of the f7 pawn. So, hopefully that's helpful. d5. It's the knight. Now we see the problem. He needs pawns in the center, otherwise you overrun the center. f4. Hit the knight. Knight will go back to g6. Probably. Maybe it goes here. Okay. That is not a threat. So we could push. The reason I don't push is because he can just go back to the middle and then just defend himself. And so my pawns create this little hole. Okay. Uh, let's attack this bishop. I would actually love a trade here. Because I have more space. I like that, and now let's not forget that we have this check. So his horses are in weird spots. He's developed almost no pawns. That's a good move. If I take, he goes here. But we do have in peasant. But I'm not going to play that. I'm going to give him this check. Now he has to go here. Okay? 
Trading pieces when you have space is a bad move, but getting the two bishops? Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? What's he doing? He did not have to do that. That's so strange because I have two things hitting this. Like, it's right there, so I, it's a strange thing to blunder. Yeah, because now I'm just... And the thing is, if he goes here, I'm not even going to take this probably. Oh no. Maybe I will take now. It, but he should have played that without blundering. Okay, I just now, now I take. If he played king e7, I probably would have swarmed. Okay. Don't tell him. And uh, he might think that he has this. But uh, el no sabe. Horses also go backwards if they want to. They don't have to, but if they want to. I'm going to eat a cucumber. That's not a euphemism. I'm just straight up eating it. Get Sonics. So many Twitch primes. Caligan, Umeko, freaking Bard. Castles. I can take, but that doesn't attack this because the knight comes, defends, and attacks. So I'm going to go here. Oh, we're chilling. Everything's good. Let's go here. Game. Appreciate all the subs, guys. You, you, <laughs> guy named I am irrelevant. You're relevant, dude. Come on. I mean, you're irrelevant. Stop it. You're great. JHL Capo. Appreciate the two months. We've also added somebody, Jello Bean, because we like your username. Okay, now we have an endgame. The easiest thing to do here, double up and go to the back rank. Or, you know, win a free piece. So just keep trading. This time we're going to try to convert in an endgame. What is the aim elo? Ah, 2000 maybe. I love this song. I know you guys can't hear it. We're listening to, um... Alesso, sorry, sorry, not Alesso, um, Ingrosso, the other guy, <laughs> not Alesso, Ingrosso. You guys can hear it, but YouTube in the future can't hear it. So, but it's okay, because they want to focus on the chess. Can't go here. Fortunately, can you beat Magnus if you start two central pawns advantage? Probably. That's a huge advantage for humans. Probably I can beat Magnus. If you give me the E and D pawns and he doesn't have them. I mean, yeah, that's like a huge advantage. I mean, that's not a cap, but it's like a, that's a massive handicap. Am I using the audio split you showed me? Omi, you didn't show me anything. I've been doing audio splitting... Oh, do you mean, um, uh, voice meter? Uh, yes, we do, we do use voice meter, yes. I thought you meant, like, yeah, sorry. I, I think that's what you're talking about. I was like, man's taking credit for the fact that I know how to put something on a different audio track? What? <laughs> yeah, 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 Lucas, you, you helped me out, Shadok helped me out a lot. Shadok basically, because when we do commentary, guys, we have three audio tracks. The commentary, uh, the music, and my microphone. And so it's really important that we, uh, we do it the right way. Yep. 
Did I play a Verisov? Not today. I'll do it in the next game. Two central pawns is only plus three for white. Plus three is huge. That's a huge disadvantage. Like, I don't think you guys realize. Magnus Carlsen is the world champion. But it's not crazy to suggest that him not having two central pawns is basically decisive. Like, he would need to out-navigate me in... Because I could just be super solid and slowly improve my position. I don't have to take any risk. And no openings exist. So... I'm... We could try it. We could, maybe we play it against Hikaru. So... We could do it. I don't know why it's such a... Now, yes, Hikaru and I recently, we played this position from the Immortal game. Uh, or not the Immortal game, something else. And, um... Yeah, the position is, like, on computer, like, plus five. Or something like that. Now, I'd be willing to... I'd be willing to try it against, like, Hikaru, for example, and... We'll see. But, uh... Also, what is the time control? That's another important question. What's the time control? You know? 90-minute game? Very different than 3-minute, with no second bonus... With, with, with no bonus time, because that's different. Then a guy can just, you know, play the clock as well, so... But 90 minutes is very different than... Three minute game. Three two? Yeah, I can't push. Don't push. Back up. Uh, you guys seem very convinced, and I seem very convinced in the other direction, so. I guess the only way to set the subs is to just make a match. Put the queen in the center. Okay, yeah, let's go for a ladder mate. Nice. Okay, so don't decline the gambit with a knight. Decline it with a pawn. That's what I recommend if you're a beginner. Because otherwise you're just going to get a position where the other guy has the full center. And uh, if cd5, queen d5, knight c3, and... Easy peasy. All right. Aki, of course. Uh, sorry, no. Tomas. Then Aki, of course. And then Jello Bean. I think that's the order. And if I messed up the order, I'm very sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. And playing against Alpha Zero? Of course I'm going to lose to Alpha Zero. Okay, E4? I don't, like, that's not even a question. I mean, I'll, I'll, of course Alpha Zero will find a way to beat me. The strongest... I don't... Is it still the strongest computer? Or is, is new better? Yes. You know, one of the reasons that I struggled so much against Hikaru in the um, Immortal position is because, again, three minutes, zero, zero second bonus, and Hikaru sees through, com you know, a ve that's a very complex position. And so while I'm busy, you know, finding my way and, and navigating and everything, he's already planning counterplay. The level of, of thinking there is a lot deeper, but if you start from scratch, from nothing, from the very beginning of a game, it's a little different than playing from already a super complicated position. It's a little bit different. I mean... But it th again, 3-0 is very different than 90 minutes. I saw some guy in the chat write something like, Magnus would shit on him in class. I don't know who he was talking about. I don't know if he meant, like, me versus Magnus straight up. I don't even, like, I don't know. I think he just heard Magnus Classical, so he just had to say something insulting about someone. I don't even know who he's insulting. Me? Someone else? I, I don't know. Yes, if I played Magnus in a classical game of chess, chances are that he would beat me. Pretty good chance, too. It might even be, it might be a close game. I mean, the thing is, I could play really solidly and then just get, you know, crushed. Uh, but, yes. That is not you. That is you know. You don't have to be a genius to predict that. But without two central pawns, I'm telling you, it's a pretty big disadvantage. It is. It's pretty big. That's what she said. So. Oh. 
So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's not a good move though. And again, guys, I'm not explaining too much what I'm doing in the opening because you have seen me play this against the King's Indian many times. The opposite side castling position where you just go for the big attack. John Zorg, Bronca. Thank you for the subs. Yes, let's go here. What are you guys talking about? Someone said or didn't say something? What? Ah. Got myself a bishop. Let's play bishop h6. Just looking to get in here. Would I beat Magnus if he had no pieces and only two pawns on the king? Yeah. Yeah, I would beat Magnus a hundred games out of a hundred. I would beat Magnus a million games out of a million games if he only had two pawns and a king. I am willing to make that hot take. Oh, instructive moment here. Very rare that stuff like this arises. I can take, but he offered me this move. And geometrically trapped his queen. Ouch. He only has one way to save it. Let's see if he sees it. Yes. Disagree. In a million games, you will misclick something leading to a stalemate. Wow. Ah, nice idea. But I just take the bishop. So it's free bishop. Yeah. Because if this, he would have taken my queen. Cool, cool idea. But fortunately, we just do this. And Magnus is your friend, and you're gonna and you're gonna tell him about what what you said. No, sir. Just because you have multiple pictures of Magnus Carlson in your room. And a little statue that you made out of clay. And uh, you write, I love you, Magnus, every day to him on Twitter. It doesn't mean you're friends. That, 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 that just means you're weird, man. That, that, that doesn't mean you're friends. I just... Your dad works for Magnus? No, again, again, again. Just because your, your boss's name... Your dad's boss's name it some, sounds a little bit like Magnus, like it's Mac, Maxwell. It's not, it's not, no, it's not. You, you don't just get to make a situation in your, in, in, in your mind. By the way, if anyone's confused why I didn't take, he was attacking me, so. Uh, okay, let's uh, kick out the knight. Yeah, let's, let's uh, you know, let's be serious. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hey Levy, I'm seriously struggling in college right now on the verge of dropping your stem pad that you've always wanted. You would not be the first person to struggle with that man. I mean, you should really look deep within yourself to see if that's where your skills lie. If that's where your abilities truly are. Um, you know. It's a, it's a serious thing. Like, For example, I was, I was pretty STEM my whole life. And then one day I realized I wasn't actually that good at it. And my, my abilities were elsewhere. And I was lucky enough that I had something like chess. But, you know. The thing is, also, some countries and some economies only function under STEM. And so it's really difficult to move past that. I'm going to go here. He can't take. But work hard. Um, and, you know. Let's go here. STEM is uh, science, technology, mathematics.
What was I good at? Well, teaching, educating, managing projects. I like to be I like to be someone who manages different elements of what's going on. Like what's the project from start to finish, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Like I like to I like to manage a team stuff like that. I don't just like to sit and, you know, stats, 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 excel, 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 like stuff like that. I'm 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 better at stuff like this, so Okay, check here. And um, I want to take with the Rook. This doesn't work because it helps his king come closer, but this does work. Yeah, Steam is really interesting because you can apply a lot of tech with a lot of art. Like urban design, architecture, engineering. There's like different, you know, people who are good at graphic design can combine that with something like math or engineering. Um... That's it. That was a tough game. That was actually vintage London versus Kings Indian. Just opposite side castling, you know, and, and really putting some pressure on him. I highly, highly recommend that you guys put this into your arsenal of tools. Would I work for an NBA stat team like they have in Houston? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, guys, I, I do not want a desk job. I mean, maybe if it happened to me before I was a streamer, sure. But I don't like that stuff. Maybe something interesting like basketball. Highly, highly recommend this. All right, we're going to sign off on the YouTube portion of this because we're already at over uh, 70 minutes. Much love to those of you watching on YouTube. Uh, remember that there's other parts of the playlist that you can check out. Some videos are going to appear on that side. Browse around on the channel playlist to check out the other parts of the D4 climb. The climb with the black pieces is amazing. Not just because I did it, but because it's just really good. There's an E4 climb. There's openings courses in the description. Also join the Discord so you can talk to those people. Twitch, say bye to the YouTube Folks, we're going to keep going here on Twitch, which is one of the reasons you can catch the whole stream at twitch.tv slash Gotham Chess. Bye, guys. Be awesome. See you in part three.